Howdy, Simmers. Welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge, where we finally can get pregnant again. Last episode, we moved out Mary and Natalie, which means we have two more spots available in the household. And our first priority is going to be to get Kala pregnant again, because her birthday is tomorrow. And I am trying to avoid having her age up as long as possible. She is still a young adult, so her aging up into an adult isn't a big deal, because she will still be able to have kids. But... <laughs> I, I do want to, you know, have her go for quite a while longer. And I do already have an idea for who I want as our next baby daddy, if I can find him. Here he is. I want to send Caleb a happy text, I guess. <laughs> I, I think getting pregnant by another vampire will be good for us. It'll make up for not having kids in the last several episodes. But let me double check where everyone is at real quick. So we need to get you to do your homework, although she's exhausted and she stinks and she's really low on fun. I have no clue where she's at, but <laughs> where are you at, actually? Oh, you're right there. Okay. So I'm going to have you take a shower and then I know that she's low on fun, but I will probably have her just like go to sleep for a little while. Uh, Penny really needs some sleep as well and also is low fun i don't know maybe we'll just have everyone go to bed for a little bit uh quinn was here um i didn't actually see penny it needs to do her homework quinn needs to do her homework and also got a skill to level two it looks like we're working on motor skill so i guess i could have her go swimming for a couple seconds or so because that apparently gets motor stuff up we have a long way to go with the toddlers at the moment. Uh, we apparently have already worked on a lot of skills for Celine, or she acquired some at some point, I don't know. This one is really hungry. So I hope we have some food laying around. Oh yeah, we are good on leftovers. So I'm just gonna do that and we will go from there. I want to invite Caleb over. I don't know if he will since it's still daytime. He might actually. Let's invite him to hang out. <laughs> He wants us to go somewhere with him, but I think he should just come over here. Yeah, he'll be right over. Okay, so that's good. So maybe he came over just because it's raining out. The sun isn't really out right now. We're going to try to make friends. Let's get this show on the road. But we have this kind of thing where we're just having twins because we have like the, what is it, on ley line house trait. And we're also fertile. So we could have up to four kids if both of them end up being vampires. There is a chance... One of them will end up being a normal sim. We are going to just try our best. There's a huge puddle here that I'd like for her to clean up. Let's confess our attraction. And then we can compliment his appearance. You feeling better? Yeah, you are. Did you get your motor skill up? She got it up by 2%. So I guess she got too hungry. Let's exchange numbers just to make sure that we can contact him. I don't really know what the point of that interaction is, given that anyone you talk to does automatically show up in your relationships stuff. So you can contact them all the time. Whatever. <laughs> I won't question it. If it helps, it helps. Let's do a bold pickup line. She's feeling confident right now. Oh, Caleb, we weren't done with you. What are you doing? He's like, oh my gosh, there's kids everywhere. What if I have you make believe in this thing? She's really tired, so I'm gonna have her just go to bed. Let's offer Rose and see if he takes it. Also, I didn't see if he actually was single or not. <laughs> he is single. Okay. Neighborhood stories did not get to him. Let's try for a baby. Let's get the show on the road. It's all ready to imagination level two. I'm gonna have her make believe even more. I don't know what you're doing, but I need you to finish working on your motor skills, so... Come swim a few laps, and I will let them do their thing. How are you two doing? She needs to use the bathroom. You are doing a lot better. This broke at some point, so that's fun. I'm going to have you go get some leftovers. Quinn's got motor skill level two, and then she just needs to do her homework, and she... Oh, wait. Homework not started, but she can't... Oh, there we go. That was so weird. <laughs> it wasn't letting me have the option for her to do her homework. It was very strange. I would like you to repair that real quick because that will be helpful in the long run. But then I need you to take a pregnancy test. So you need to go find something else to do in here. Uh, Penny. Find another thing to do in the house. Hopefully Caleb will stick around until we know whether or not we're pregnant. Yay, she's eating for two. 
<laughs> or potentially three, but we're not gonna worry about that. Let's clean the sink real quick because it's really gross. Are y'all really all out here when it's raining? You guys have literally no common sense. All right, but she's imagination level four, so we're already done with that. What do you mean you're gonna serve vegetable casserole? Do we not have leftovers anymore? We do. I don't know why she's not going for those automatically. They're all so upset. Well, it's your guys' fault that you chose to sit in the rain. Really? You came out here too? Is there something wrong with our dining table? Or did you just go out there because everyone else was out there? Because it makes no sense. Hey, why don't you come here and clean up these plates? And your homework is complete. Great. So I guess I can let you go to bed now. I probably can't get anyone else to... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try to get you to do your homework. It's probably not going to work out well, but I think you're fine. How long until she passes out, though? Oh. <laughs> well, she becomes exhausted in a little bit. Not necessarily passes out. You're doing a lot better. So I'm going to have you do your homework too. Kala, off to bed with you. Have a good night. Once you get done with your homework, I'm going to have you use the bathroom. Penny has completed her homework. I think she has extra credit. I don't know if I should have her work on her extra credit. I should, honestly. <laughs> I know she's really tired, but she's fine. She doesn't pass out until two hours, so what are you doing? Did you finish your homework? No. Do your extra credit. All right, she really does not want to listen. Oh. <laughs> she is too not okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. But you're doing okay for the most part, so I need you to work on your extra credit. Not on the bed where I'm trying to get your sister to go to sleep at. I really hate that these sims like to do their work in the little kid's room. Like, it's so infuriating. Oh. You passed out. <laughs> Maybe I just need her to go to bed. Maybe that's our best option right now. She is giving up too and going to bed. <laughs> no point. It is 6 a.m. on Wednesday, and the only person awake is Celine, who apparently has food in her inventory. That is now spoiled. So great. <laughs> I'm going to have her play some Blick Block Baby so she can work on her movement skill, because that's... At 69% of level one. How are you doing? You need some help, Kala. Good morning. Time to help the children. <laughs> She's got some morning sickness. She'll be fine, right? She's done this loads of times. Yeah, yeah. Stupid strict dynamic. Trying to help them equals being a strict parent, apparently. For any parents of like younger kids or just kids in general, because they were young at one point, um, is that how it is? Like genuinely? You try to help the kids and it, you just come off as strict to them because they're like, I don't want to do it and blah, 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 blah. That kind of stuff. I wouldn't know. I'm not a parent. I'm never going to be a parent. These three have school here soon. I'm going to try to get them to finish their extra credit. I highly doubt that'll be the case, but I'm going to wake you up anyway, even though you're done. They're both sitting on Quinn's bed. Are you two distracting each other? Quit having conversation. This is all about business. She's gonna try to go after some food. I don't think she'll really have time to eat, though. Actually, yeah, I know she won't. I'm not gonna have her do that. Maybe she'll get some food at school, if that's a thing. Extra credit is complete. Did you finish your extra credit? No, but I need you to go to school anyway. Have a good day. Make sure to study hard and get good grades. Oh, Caleb's calling us. Uh, do you want to go out on a date? No, thanks. Everyone is off to school. Study hard for everyone. What are you doing? She's going to go clean a high chair, apparently. Does it need to be cleaned? Doesn't look like it needs to be cleaned. We need to work on potty skill, though. So we're going to start with Rebecca because she is the oldest of the two. She's also causing some trouble right now. So she's getting a little hungry, though. Oh, and this one needs hygiene help, too. It's fine. We'll deal with it as we can. I would just like to at least get them to level two is then they can just do stuff on their own. I don't remember them. Yeah. Neither of them are independent, unfortunately. They're both inquisitive, though. All right, this one needs a nap, though. So <laughs> I'm going to have you go to sleep. You can do it, Rebecca. I believe in you. Oh, hey, Harvest Fest is tomorrow. Today, the principal is visiting Penny's class. Everyone's to be on their best behavior. 
We're gonna ignore the kid who's bullying us. She's getting a little hungry too. I do need her to clean this toddler potty though. We're getting all sorts of phone calls. <laughs> How many things do we have left? We have two plates left. Okay, so we have enough just for Kala and Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> and watch as Rebecca just kind of wobbles over to the couch. <laughs> She's still fairly tired. And this one's doing okay. I think I'm also going to have her actually work on... Well, you know what? I think we need to focus on Potty actually right now. I am going to have her grab the mail though. All right. We got a bunch of toys and some seed packets that we're not going to do anything with. So that is 950 simoleons for us. I see you trying to go make another mess. It's not going to happen. I'm going to have you try one more time just because we're right there. <laughs> there we go. Now you can go to sleep and I'm going to wake up this one. Ah, she already reached level two of movement. We're doing good. Where are you at so far with stuff? We need to work on your potty. Yay! Uh, Olivia's an A student, so we can age her up. Penny is also an A student, and Quinn is a B student. All right. We're about to have some teens in the house. <laughs> and it's gonna be good. And we will be starting with Olivia because she is the oldest. She's so tired, though. <laughs> Happy birthday. All right, Olivia is good and her aspiration as a teen never matters. Something in family. She got super parent. Okay. Oh no. What is it with the freaking lycanthrope thing? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to take that out of my game or something because I don't understand why they're all aging up with that when they become teens. That's ridiculous. Happy birthday to you too, Penny. She also aged up with it, I think. Okay. She's jealous and blah, 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 blah. I completely missed that. <laughs> Whatever it is. Uh, Mount Komorebi Sightseer. Well, I'm gonna go remove the stupid lycanthrope werewolf overlay thing. Okay, I fixed them. <laughs> I feel like I just need to take that mod out whenever I plan on aging up my sims into teens. Otherwise, they're all going to age up with that and it's going to be really annoying. You need to use the bathroom. I'm guessing, yeah, straight to the TV. <laughs> I'll give them a break. They did good. Where are you at? You're up here. Can I get you to get a shower as well? Because you're feeling a little stressed right now. All right. How are you doing? You're messing and stuff. You shouldn't be. Uh, can I get you to actually potty train this one for a little bit? I want to try to get her up to level two as well, just so she can do that on her own. I know she's feeling a little hungry. Oh, can I actually get one of you? What's the chance I can get you to make some grand breakfast for us? Your mom's just a little occupied right now, so if you want to eat, you're going to have to make food yourself. You feel engrossed out because of the toddler potty here? Okay, she's acquired the cooking skill. But is she going to start a fire? <laughs> uh, I hope not. Keeping an eye on you, Olivia. Watching your every move. Especially as you practically destroy our food. What are you up to? No, you're not going to wake up your sister. Why don't you come use this potty? I know it's really gross. Oh, hey, she did it. Her sleepiness <laughs> overrides how hungry she is. Why would you try to take a nap? when you could just go to sleep. Where are you headed off to? You want to go play with the dolls, but I'd actually rather you eat. She really tried to clean up a puddle that was outside and apparently it worked somehow. I'm very confused. Okay. Uh, I saw you were done with your homework. Did you have extra credit though? You do. And now she has to get a skill to level four. So creativity is actually ahead. So we'll probably end up doing that. You going to bed? You're taking a nap. Go full to sleep. Don't even bother. <laughs> you didn't reach potty level two, so what can I have you do instead? Uh, you could work on your movement. You are getting a little tired, but not tired enough, so lick block baby it is. Okay, this one is too tired to keep going, so go ahead and stop with the potty training. And then you can come get food. Oh, you're already headed this way anyway. Are you just standing in the corner of the kitchen playing that? Like... You could sit down or something. Oh, so now you sit down because you want to chat with your sister. Why are you going to the upstairs bathroom? There were two downstairs you could have gone to. Why don't you come to bed? You're exhausted. And great. You can mop. What the heck? 
I was gonna say she can mop that up and then the sink broke too. Good morning, Penny. Penny needs a shower and she also needs to use the bathroom. And she needs to eat and she needs some fun. I did realize she also woke up at like two something in the morning, so a little bit of an early start. But it's fine because that means you can do your homework sooner. Uh, how are you doing? Hunger is low. Fun is extremely low. <laughs> no chance of homework getting done, probably. Not while she's this tense. Kala will be in her third trimester in 18 hours. I have no clue what time <laughs> the kid was conceived. Or kids. Most likely kids. I'm gonna wake you up and get you to have some food. Again, with coming into the little kid's room to do your homework. Stay out of here. The only reason I don't lock these doors is because sometimes the teens need to help out the toddlers or infants. Because we can't have Kala doing the work all the time. The teens are extremely helpful for that purpose. But if we lock the doors, they can't get in there. We just gotta do what we can. You should play a video game or something to calm yourself. Because you're not doing too well right now. Kala, don't go in there and distract her. She's working on stuff. She needs to get her fun up so she can do her homework. Which means you need to leave her alone. You have things to do yourself. so Such as sitting down at the table. And you eat instead of standing over the computer. I'm gonna wake you up and I'm gonna have you work on creativity stuff. So go ahead and play some dolls. And you two are doing okay for the most part. You're a little bit on the hungry side, but that's fine. Ah, look at you. You feel so much better. Good enough to do your homework, do you think? You three are so rude. You have two sleeping toddlers in here <laughs> and you're all just hanging out and chatting and doing whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and wake up Rebecca and I'm gonna have her get some food here. And then Celine, I'm gonna wake you up and you are going to potty train her. Oh hey, it's Harvest Fest. I forgot about that. I think I made it so that they could go to school today still. I don't remember. Well, it says they have the day off, but... I think I did say, you know, it was an exception for this challenge that they can go to school despite, you know, it being a holiday. I don't know. I don't know if I should treat it as such, like, <laughs> this is the kind of challenge I feel like we should just ignore every other aspect. If it's not the weekend, they go to school. That's how we're going to treat it from now on. I'm sure I'm going to forget, but I'm sick of this. <laughs> I don't care anymore. You're gonna go to school on Harvest Fest. Get over it. Oh, she apparently got to level three of creativity, though. Go ahead and play dolls more. Did I see you finished your stuff? Yes. You're already watching TV to kind of take care of stuff, so. I will allow it for now. Ah, uh, look at the little hug. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're almost to potty level two. One more time should hopefully do it. No, don't go smashing the thing. Here. If your sister's going to be potty trained again, you can probably go potty a few more times. We're almost halfway to level three, so. And your bladder's getting kind of low anyway. Olivia completed her stuff. I'm going to have you go over here and get a shower. Please actually use this one instead of going to the other bathroom. Thank you. And then I saw that you got to level two, so that's good. Come grab a serving of this. Kala, how are you doing? You're doing pretty good. I think I want you to work on this painting. I'm gonna send you guys to school, even though it is harvest fest. <laughs> Same with you. Everyone go to school. I might be breaking a rule. I don't know. I don't care. This is a speed challenge, and I I'm done with taking days off from them if it's not the weekend. Besides, I'm sure... <laughs> <laughs> These kids are sick of this family anyway. Hey, she finished a masterpiece. It's kind of cute. 1,633 simoleons. Jeez. What can I have you do? You're a little tired, but I'll probably have you work on body stuff for a little bit. If you can, because your sister is sitting in front of both toilets. Although we have some over here too, don't we? <laughs> nope, we have another phone call. What's up? Olivia was discovered playing games on her phone when she should have been paying attention. Please confiscate it, I guess. No time to be on your phone when you're supposed to be aging up. Paula is holding up pretty well. I don't know. This is like the first time in forever where everyone else can do stuff for themselves. I'm definitely having you stop, though, because you're tired. <laughs> I'm going to have you potty train Rebecca more, even though she is at level two. 
I don't know if that's necessary, but we're gonna do it. Keep going, because that's going up a lot faster with her here. <laughs> I'm realizing she's almost there. Yeah, you really needed to use the bathroom though, too. Oh, but she's right there. Come on, just a little more. Literally at 96. <laughs> Yay! Potty level three. We did it. I don't know. We're doing pretty good. What's wrong with you? I told you to go to sleep, didn't I? Ah, uh, she had a nightmare, didn't she? And with where we're sitting, our trimester is in seven hours. Uh, Olivia, B student. Penny B student, Quinn B student. You seriously need some fun. Good gosh. This challenge always makes me question whether or not I want to keep going, but I am so determined to get this done that I am putting myself through so much pain with this. <laughs> Quit talking to your daughter. She's trying to get her fun up and you are distracting her. Can't you go to bed or something? You're a little tired. I'm gonna have you take a nap. Make sure everyone is focusing. Ah, she's gonna complete a tradition apparently. I don't know how. Don't know why. But what I do know is that I am going to leave this episode here. And in the next part, we will be having this kid. Or kids. For anyone who has stuck with us through the last couple or so videos of the 100 Baby Challenge, thank you for tolerating the episodes where we don't have any kids. This challenge is just so difficult and grindy, and I know it can get boring at times, so if you are sticking around and still watching despite not having kids every episode, thank you. It's appreciated. I am very determined to get through this challenge despite how, like, insane it's driving me. Th this is definitely not a challenge for the week, so I applaud anyone who has completed the challenge already. Uh, if anyone has any tips on how to complete it, please help me, because... I I'm losing my mind over here. <laughs> Again, if you have any baby names, leave them in the suggestions. We're on the letter T at the moment, and we're potentially going to need some U names as well, because I'm imagining she's going to have twins again. That's kind of become the reoccurring thing here, so T and U names is what I'm looking for at the moment, but yeah. With that, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss anything. Be sure to follow my socials. Links are below. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.